Island of News, Parliament House, Saturday, Melbourne. There's quite a, a large crowd of people have gathered here, but unfortunately there's five million people in Victoria and there's only a couple of thousand people here, which is sad because this, this problem applies to everyone. And if you're not here, well then, you've got the problem. London News, I've just run into a good Irish friend of mine from... Where, where about in Ireland are you from? From Bolyahockey, lads. Bolyahockey, Dublin. And that's for the people who don't know where Dublin is. It's been Dublin, it's been Black England in England. Anyway, this is a friend of Ben, ben Gilroy, and we, we both know Ben. We're here at the protest here in Melbourne today, and uh, there was five million people, unfortunately. There's probably, uh, what, 500,000 or a couple of hundred thousand people oh, here. Well, I don't know how many is here, but this is what we need to do. We need to find a way of counting those numbers. Yeah. Ben, I don't know you personally if you're listening, but I've been following you from afar, and I was following you for many years when I was in the guards over in Ireland. Yeah. I thought you were a true hero of Ireland. We oh, definitely yeah. do need some sort of a direct system, a system of direct governance because yeah. uh, we've lost control of the situation. Reasonable things happen in our communities and as I say, as no copper would say, is there reasonable cause to suspect that criminality is taking place in government offices? And I would say there is. And we need to talk to our police officers. We need to build that bridge. Talk to them outside the box of uniform. Talk to them in the pub. Have a point. Have a conversation if you can get into one. Right? And, you know, when you talk to the lads outside the box, tweak their curiosity. Are things adding up? Right, things are not adding up, so we need to start expressing that reasonable cause and forming that reasonable cause. And what we need to do is we have we need to build up a foil in relation to this together as a people. That's what we need to do. So like I say, is there reasonable cause to suspect that malfeasance has taken place in government office? I would say in view of the circumstantial evidence of the you know the effects on the public, it certainly has. And when we've asked to see the evidence that all of this is being based on, I mean it's an aberration. We have, uh, we have orders have been issued in the absence of fact instead of the establishment of fact. Who's ever heard of such a thing? Now any man that's reasonable would know there's questions to be asked and we're here to ask them questions. And that's what we're doing, so glad to meet you lads. All the best.
He loves Dan Andrews. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Hey Craig. Hey. Come on, Lord Court. What do we want? It? No. What do we want? What do we want? It? Yes, no.
For you, mate. What, we are uh, our cell representative, are you? No, no, I'm ex army. Ex army. And um, common law court. Common law court. I've heard about you guys. L Land of news. Ah, oh, well done. And you too. I've been. I'm. I'm a fan. You're a fan. The other hand. Great to see. Good on you, mate. You too, brother. Ex army on the streets of Sydney. Yes. Respect to the ex army. Melbourne. <laughs> Alright mate, how are you? Good, Good on you guys. Thank you. Kill the bill. Oh. Oh, that's been polite. Anyway, London News in Melbourne, on a beautiful Saturday with the demonstration with the World Wide Night. I underestimated the crowd, there's over a thousand, thousands of people here marching. They're all hidden around in the, in the corner street, so it's fantastic to see the people out here protesting against uh, a private corporation commonly known as Victoria Government. And of course, Jesper Dan is the CEO, and uh, our dear friend Scomo. Well, he can't do nothing because he's another company, a private company, all owned by, by the USA, controlled by the Democrats, and owned by the Democrats. So, the Labour Party destroyed this country in the beginning, and if they ever get into federal again, well, it's goodbye Australia, it's already on the way down the tubes. How far down we've gone, I don't know, but these are real people who have stood up and said enough is enough, and we should be supporting them, sadly, because about four million people sitting back at home, scratching their butts, wondering what to do, instead of being out here in this beautiful day and doing something about it. I congratulate these people for actually doing something. London of News again, signing off in Melbourne, near the Parliament House. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.